Welcome to another Scrum Desk channel episode. In this episode we are going to demonstrate the Scrum Desk Database Manager tool. As you know, Scrum Desk is a client application keeping your data stored in Microsoft SQL Server. To install a new database or to upgrade existing one, you can use Database Manager tool if you are administrator. Let's see how to install a new database. As a first, please ensure that checkbox create a new database is selected in step 1. After that, please enter server name into server name edit box in step 2. As you can see, we are also entering the number of port as our SQL server is uh, hosted on special port. SQL Server provides different authentication methods. You can use standard Windows authentication if uh, your SQL Server will be available in your local area network and you would like to use the same login name as uh, is configured in your Windows Active Directory. For our purposes, our hosting server is located in our demilitarized zone, so to, to access it we have to use SQL Server Authentication. This way the server is accessible from the Internet as well. After selecting SQL Server Authentication, we are going to enter the, the account under which you are able to install new database. This account is a SQL Server account. In our case it is a super administrator. We are entering password And after we enter this password, we will try to connect to the server. If we, everything will be OK, we will see available databases in a combo box databases. However, we are not going to use this combo box as we are going to create a new database. Therefore, we will install, we will, uh, we will enter the name of this database. When database is created, it can be accessible by your team members. Of course, you are not going to use a super administrator account to access this database. Therefore, Scrum Desk provides you possibility to create new database login to this database. You can all, of course select two versions of authentication, but we are going to use a simpler one, which is SQL Server authentication. As you can see, Database Manager cre already created the login name used by all your team members and now we are going to enter the password. We will confirm the same password and we will uh, try to create a database. Progress bar will indicate current progress of database creation process and once it will be done, you will be notified by message box. In case of any error, you will see a special error message box which you can, where you can select error text box and send it to our support so our support team could help you during creation of your database. Thank you very much and see you in our another channel episode.